France are out of the Euros. Yeah. Um, Let's ask the question, really, because we always, Josie, don't we? We always want to look for someone to blame in that situation. Um, there were some real standout performances in that France side, but why do you think this has happened? I, I remember you were saying, actually, that anything that isn't making it to the final for, for France um, will be a failure. So this must be a failure with a capital F. I believe so. Um, amazing players, great squad, very good coach. Um, tradition, status, know-how, I think it is a failure. But to find and to say you guilty, I would say Switzerland, you guilty. You guilty. Because uh, without stars, they were a team. Uh, Petkovic is doing uh, an amazing work for many years. Switzerland went from uh, a team that barely could qualify. Uh, they went into being consecutively in final phases of World Cups and Euros and now beating the world champion and reaching quarterfinal in such a brilliant way like they like they did. Because don't forget, people think about, about the penalty shootout and the extra time. But the reality was that uh, Hugo Lloris keep the game open yeah. when he saved the Ricardo Rodriguez penalty. The reality of the game was Switzerland much better than France and could be 2-0, could be 2-0 after, let's say, 58 minutes or so. Uh, because of they missed that penalty, the game changed. But the reality was for me, Switzerland as a team, they were a fantastic. Team. Certainly, I also believe that France they had a little bit of fun, which uh, in football, I think you must have fun after the game, not during the game. And they had fun too early. Um, they were playing fantastic. The way they they changed the, uh, the result, amazing. Um, Benzema, first goal, incredible. Uh, Pogba, third goal, top. But then I think they had a little bit of fun. Um, I also believe that uh, Desha made one uh, one mistake that I, I I think about it many many times. When you go to extra time, when you go when you are in a game where there is a possibility of an extra time, you have to be very careful with the changes with mm. you. Uh, when you make a change on minute eighty nine, and you take one of your best players, Griezmann, that was playing amazingly well, and you do that change, Griezmann for Sissoko. If this is a points game without extra time, that's okay. That's okay. But when there is a perspective of an extra time, that's I, a big gamble. I, I watched the game that I was expecting to, to watch, you know, a big game. Um, honestly, the geometry was, was there, the duels were there. Both teams respecting each other a lot, but England, in my opinion, very, very solid, very compact. Um, and, you know, uh, in the right moment, couldn't be, couldn't be in the, a better moment to do it with 10 minutes to, uh, to go. And then the little bit of, of luck that you need in, in the crucial moments with that uh, uh, Thomas Muller face-to-face with... Uh, with Pickford, but I'm really happy for Southgate. I'm really happy for the players. I'm really happy for the Eng England fans because it's, it's, it's a great moment. And, you know, I'm I'm singing a little bit, he's coming home, but he's, he's just a kind of, of a show my happiness because he's not yet coming home the same way. Um, England needs balance in, in the bad moments. England also needs balance in the good moments and uh, the same way uh, media is very critic in the bad moments. We have to be balanced now. Uh, it's still a long way to go. In normal conditions, England is going to be in the final because I don't see England losing against one of these four teams that we can play in quarterfinals and semifinals. But we need always to respect football, respect football above all. And to respect football is to respect the unpredictability of the game. Anything can happen in the game. France is not in the quarterfinal because they didn't respect the game in the last 10, 15 minutes. So 
let's enjoy, but let's enjoy for a, a couple of days. And then I'm pretty sure that St. George's Park will be calm and focused and, and ready for the next one. It's very important for, for everyone, uh, especially, of course, for uh, uh, English people and, and in English football. But I told from the beginning of our, of our conversations, mm -hmm. 